So today I'm going to be talking about Warframe, okay, because I have loved this game for so long. They have done such an amazing job with this game for so many years, guys, and I want to make a video on it today and just talk about it <laughs> and just go over some of the footage of me playing the latest, you know, stuff and whatnot, and I still, you know, am way behind, you know, current players, but... Even so, it's still amazing. There's just so much stuff you can freaking do. You could do all the different campaign stuff. You could do PvP. You could do all the different events they have because they do different events month to month. And it's just crazy. You know what I mean? The amount of stuff to do. So you just kind of have to pick something you like and chisel away at it. <laughs> all the different Warframes. I think they have around 50 or so now. And every single one of them is absolutely amazing. You do not have to pay a dime for them. You know what I mean? If you actually want to grind them like I typically do, I don't pay a dime for anything. And I have about five or so amazing primes. If you guys cannot see, I'm very good at this game. I've been playing it for probably eight years or so. And I started it way back on the PlayStation 2 or... No, I started way back on the PlayStation 3 or 4, I believe. Right? And I played it for so long... And for so long I wanted to play on my PC and because it came out and but it took them so long to even be able to have cross play and my save was the biggest thing because I had so many hours back in the day you know what I mean but it was all on Sony so I basically could only play on Sony consoles so I was like no I don't want to lose all the hours you know what I mean because I basically had hundreds and hundreds of hours to this game already and I just wanted to resume it thankfully you know what I mean they made cross uh, platform and also you know cross save so now anything you play it on it basically will put the save onto that you know console or PC or whatever thankfully you know what I mean I was so happy <laughs> so I've just been gorging Warframe for the past you know seven days so playing it with you know friends and just playing it by myself just gorging away you know what I mean trying to get all the new Warframes and stuff and I was already way behind I didn't have like everything you know what I mean but I have probably seven or so amazing Warframes and it just keeps getting you know a bigger and bigger list you know what I mean because I'm very good at this game I just hit MR 11 or so I think or 10 and I'm so uh, proud to be even a uh, 10 because the tests and stuff you have to do are kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, there's so much crap you got to do. But every rank you go up, you get, you know, way more stuff. Like, uh, you get all kinds of different, you know, daily buffs and stuff. And you can only use certain weapons, you know what I mean, once you hit certain MRs. So, of course, all the most, you know, amazing weapons are locked behind some of the higher MRs. But even though you're MR1, you still get amazing stuff, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> you could still basically grind for everything. You know what I mean? You just will be able to use a lot of it until you the MR rank. So, basically, the way you get your MR rank up in this game, though, is you have to level up Warframes, companion levels, guns, you know what I mean? All different kinds of things. All the way up and then re tear them down over and over you know what I mean and you could polarize them you could make them stronger I believe up to like a three star it may be higher I'm not sure because my favorite one right now is Volt Prime and I have basically redid everything on him multiple multiple times he's my favorite so far because his four ability just lets you freaking kill everything in the entire area basically you know what I mean if you build them correctly <laughs> and it's just so awesome you know what I mean I love going into you know help other people and just like spamming F4 because now I have like 50,000 energy and I could just use it a million times and I don't know it's just awesome though I love Warfriend though guys and I'm making this video today to just talk about it you know what I mean I feel it is a very very under talked about game and it's done such a good job at staying free to play it while also having you know different things over there as you can you know spend money on and it's an amazing thing they've done such an amazing job and I didn't even know that they would be doing it this song you know what I mean but I'm just so glad it's free to play you know and they always have amazing updates they never cost anything to the player 
You know what I mean? They're always 100% working. I've never had a single graphical A rhythm ever. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's amazing. And I do love the everything they do. All the different stories are just amazing. The voice acting, the weapon designs, everything. You know what I mean? I just love every single bit of this game though. What do you guys think of Warframe? Have you not got to try it yet? You know what I mean? This is probably your best chance to try it because it's on so many different consoles and it's 100% free. So, I don't know. But you guys gotta check this out for sure. <laughs> and let me know what you think of it. And if you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more epic videos. And, I don't know, I just wanted to make a video talking about this game because I feel like it is, you know, way, way down on the list of things. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have a huge player base. You know what I mean? Day to day. It's not like older ring or nothing but it's still doing amazing things in its own way especially in the free-to-play genre you know what i mean because this game is massive i remember the first time i you know started playing it and i had to look online i was like you know because i wanted to figure out you know how do i do this or how do i do that you know what i mean how do i get this mod because there's like mods and stuff you can you know get for your different warframes and all this different stuff and you can level them up and basically do a thousand different builds in one warframe it's crazy <laughs> so if you do like a you know tons and tons of customization and the instant graphics the warframe has always been a very pretty game to me you know what i mean it's been out probably for i would say 10 years or so maybe 11 or so i don't know it's been forever <laughs> And it's still around, and they keep updating it. It's just crazy the amount of stuff they put into it. And I never get bored. If anything, it's just crazy, like, how it can still keep me going. You know what I mean? Even though I put hundreds and hundreds of hours into it, they just, like, I don't know. They keep sucking me back in with all this new stuff. And I'm not even, like, maybe 50% done. It's a crazy thing. <laughs> and, yeah, my Warframe is, is uh, very strong, though. And I don't know. I love I do love Ult Prime. I have Loki Prime and I have Serum Prime and you know just a bunch of other primes I would like to have that I am working on. And by the time this video comes out I might have even more, I don't know. But I mean I have other ones too. I have Ash Prime, I have uh, another prime. Can't think of the name right now, but I, I have five or six fully pretty much done primes. <laughs> and they're all amazing. Oh Wukong. So I have Wukong Prime and he's also amazing. Um, you know what I mean? But they all have their own strengths and, you know, different things. Loki Prime is amazing because it is number four. Basically, disarms everybody in the entire area. So, basically, it takes their guns away and they can no longer shoot anybody. But they can still melee, but they're very easy to take down. And he can turn invisible. He can do a clone. You know what I mean? Each different Prime has basically its own different fighting style. You know what I mean? So it's pretty cool and it's pretty addicting. You can have a dog, you can have a cat. You know I mean there's just you could decorate your freaking ship that you get to go in and ride around to all the different planets. You can have a dojo, which is basically like a clan, and you get to build your dojo however you want. So you can basically design it from top to bottom, you know what I mean? It's crazy the amount of stuff you can do. Nothing is like way too expensive. Everything seems to be priced, you know, even what I can afford, you know what I mean? The materials and stuff to build things is crazy. You know what I mean? It's not too bad. It seems like, you know, the price to do to build a room or whatever seems perfectly within reason. It's not, you know, crazy, some crazy number, which I'm not even at. And I'm, I got, I think I'm about 2 million or so credits or whatever. I don't know. I got achievement the other day. But it's, I don't know, so much fun, guys. So today's video is just going to be about Warframe. And I just love, like, the melee abilities and all the different things you could do to it. Like, I have so much awesome stuff, like, primed stuff that I got. You know what I mean? Because there's this guy that comes once every two weeks. I forget his name, but once every two weeks he comes. And you have to have this certain stuff, which you could sell the prime parts for. It's like, uh, it's some kind of bucks or something that he, only he takes. And he comes once every two weeks. And it has all kinds of prime stuff, you know what I mean? Which is like stronger than the regular stuff. Percentages of the buffs and stuff are way stronger. So you go from 100% max to like 150%, which is a big difference. Especially 
that's that's the stuff you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah it's just awesome the amount of stuff you guys can do in this game it's breathtaking every step i love the freaking art designs everything they do with it you know what i mean i've been to just get back in and play this for so long and basically like two months ago they made it to where you could do cross save and all the other stuff but yeah guys uh let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments and you know today's video is just going to be about warframe and some of the, a lot of the footage that I've been gorging on. <laughs> what do you guys think of this? Have you guys already got to play a lot of it? Have you not got to try it? Because this for sure is going to be, you know, probably the best time because it's on so many different platforms and it's 100% free. Remember that. You just have to spend your time on it or you can spend money on it too, like a lot of people do. And you could even get platinum. You know what I mean? Just by selling parts in the markets and stuff. So, which platinum is like their premium currency. So, you know what I mean? So you can get it with actual money or whatever. It just depends. You can get it free. Which I prefer to do it the free way. There's all kinds of different, you know, relics and stuff. You're unlocking the missions and it's so fun and it's so fast. And there's always parties. You basically will have a full group no matter which missions you go in. So it's like, even though the player count is maybe 100,000 or so or whatever, it's like steady. Pretty much year round it never drops you always have tons of people to play with the community seems very cool you know what i mean i've never had any like bad stuff happen everybody seems very nice we guys think of warframe so far though you know what i mean let me know down in the comments guys and uh yeah be sure to subscribe for more epic videos and you know if you want positivity in your life be sure to hit the subscribe button because that's all i'm going to be doing you know what i mean if i could bring up one person's you know life each day I've did my job as a YouTuber. But yeah guys. Let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments. I cannot wait to hear about it. But always remember. Stay positive guys. I'm out.